from inside Rogers Center in downtown Toronto. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Toronto Blue Jays. First pitch coming your way next. just about ready to go and the starter for Toronto Jose Barrios what should we keep an eye on here try to stay back for that power changeup speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge hitters they have a hard time staying back so just about set so digging in now for Philadelphia Kyle Schwarber in the air center field Springer on the move and makes the grab and there's one down batting second the left fielder number eight Nick Castellanos Nick Castellanos at the plate now obviously a guy who makes good contact hits for average but one of the things in today's game the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties next offering is in for a strike they're so reliant on the matchups nowadays Chris and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him when you can hit you know both sides in terms of it. oh now this is blasted way back there on its way gone Nick Castellanos goes deep just like that they move in front it's one nothing A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Here's Bryce Harper. Next offering in the dirt. Now two balls and a strike. Check swing, but he went too far. That is strike two. Kicks and deals. And that skips in the dirt. Well, the Blue Jays have seemed to go all in on players with MLB dads. What about those advantages, guys that have been around the clubhouse a lot? They are not afraid. Being in an intense game, 40,000, 50,000 people screaming. That's like being in the backyard for these guys that have grown up with the big league dad coming to the ballpark all the time. So they're very comfortable in this environment. In the air, right field. Biggio moving under this one. Makes the grab, two down. That is four. The catcher, JT Realmito. And now it is JT Real Muto. The wind and the pitch. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. So the Phillies strike first with a solo home run. And the home team down a run. We go to the bottom of the first, and on the hill in this one, Zach Wheeler and Singy. He's one of the most dominant arms in all of baseball. Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. Bottom of the first. Here's the veteran outfielder, George Springer. And a pitch. That's inside. inside 
ripped on a line. Harper puts it away. One up, one down. Batting second. The shortstop. Bo Bichette up to the dish. One down, base is empty. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. And it beats him for out number two. That's a strikeout. That is good. The first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero. Here's Vladimir Jr. Guerrero Jr. This guy has turned into a beast. The next ball pitch two. misses. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. Two outs. That one fouled off. Two and two. Two down. Nobody on. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. goes deep, and it ties it up. It's tied at one. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul, was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Tied up here in the early going. Next offering is foul back. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Castellanos makes the catch, and that'll do it. But a run scores in the inning as this solo home run ties things up. All even now at 1-1. New inning getting started and digging in for Philadelphia, Reese Hoskins. So now one and two. Oh, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. I talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Next pitch is in the dirt. Two and two. And now it's filled up. Kicks and fires. Hoskins didn't like it. And there are two outs. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Gene Segura at the plate here. Strike two. The pitch. That one hit to right. Hernandez sizing this one up. And there's two down. That accepts the shortstop. Steady. Two outs, base is empty. 
Didi Gregorius at the plate. Ball to strike. Hit well. Right field way back and gone. Didi Gregorius goes deep. And they jump out front. It's 2-1. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Next to hit, Matt Veerling. That one lifted to left. Guriel settles under it. He's got it, and that's the inning. The Phillies get one by way of the long ball. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. Back now in Toronto, and it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Takes it in for the out. Batting six. The third baseman, Matt Chapman. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. The 1-1. One -one. Good oh, eye in that spot. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play, can throw from so many different angles, and makes really tough plays look very easy. Ricky Holiday, our umpire behind the dish, known as pretty fair umpire for both hitters and pitchers. Yeah, I think that's right, Boo. There is a little inconsistency on the corners of the plate. You can't always be sure how it's going to go with those borderline pitches as the game progresses. pitch late swing fouled off next offering is fouled back yeah the righty deals to the right side Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Batting seven, the designated hitter, Alejandro. Alejandro Kirk next up for the Blue Jays. And here it comes. There, that misses off the outside edge. 2-2 two, two down. Stays alive. He's a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. 1-2-3 go to Blue Jays, and our score remains 2-1. And welcome back. Top half of the third inning. This is Bryson Stott. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Left-hand batter waits. 
And that one is lifted in the air. Bichette sizes this one up. Puts it away for the out. Yeah, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Flied out his first time. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a one-two again. And a ball evens the count. I got to count two and two. And he deals. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Jansen Fields fires the first. Got him. Two gone after the strikeout. The left fielder, number eight, Nick Castellanos. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Nicholas Castellanos, the solo homer his first time. That one hammered center field. Way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. He sends it out of here. His second home run of the game, it's 3-1. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. Base is empty with two away. Here's Harper now. Next pitch misses and a count two and one. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Well struck right field. That one carrying. And out of here. Bryce Harper goes deep. And they tack one on the board. It's 4-1. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Back-to-back -back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. JT Real Muto stands in for the Phillies, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Next pitch misses way outside. Kicks and deals. I got three and two. That one is absolutely belted on its way. And that one is going to go. Three in a row. Wow. And they add a run. It's 5-1. And their fifth home run of the game. Some things in this sport are contagious, Boog. And right now, for these guys, clearly it's the long ball.
back to back to back home runs and these guys look so dominant right now pitcher might want to check and see if he's tipping his pitches or not but I tell you what if this was basketball that opposing team would call a timeout to try to slow down this offense and it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish rolled over to third Chapman over to first in time that ends the frame they explode with three solo homers in the inning. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Phillies five and the Blue Jays one. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. The Jays in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The why to kick the pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Hoskins makes the catch, and there's one away. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride Batting up done. in the zone right there. The Hitter catcher. looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the yeah, end sure. just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. The wind of the pitch. And that one a little bit high. The other way. And that's a foul ball. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Lifted in the air right center field. That'll drop in as he plays it on a hop. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter, but when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. And the batter is George Springer. And the count one and two. Jansen, the base runner at first with one out. And he dodges that fastball. Straighten him up a little bit. And now two and two. We got a full count. Tapped on the ground softly to short. Bare hand grab over to first. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. A nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. Bobachek gets a chance to hit. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Next pitch nope. inside, inside two and one good spot for the hitter definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch next one is off the plate and now three and one that's where you want it. it's a good miss. the belt and fires and a foul ball one out runners at first and second hammer base hit Jansen coming home 
He'll score easily. It's 5-2. To second, but way too late. Safe there. you got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Next offering is foul back. Next one misses. The count now two and two. Second and third here. One away. On the ground. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He doesn't have a play, and they get a run at home. One away, runners at first and third. And now for the Jays, Teoscar Hernandez. Fly to left his first time up. Here's a 1-1. Count one. First and third, one down. Hammered down the right side, but foul. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Hernandez tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he held back, according to Dave Lawrence. And a pitch. Into center. Veerlin under this one. Squeezes it. Runner tags for home. Gregorius with a relay home. Safe at the plate. And it's a one-run game. So many times that one gets out of here and into the seats. But he'll take the sack fly RBI. Good job to get that run in from third. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. And a 1-1. And a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. Three innings complete. It's the Phillies five, the Jays four. Back here at Rogers Center, start of the fourth, and now for the Phillies, Gene Segura. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The pitch. Gets under and pops it up. Biggio moving under it. And it's caught for the out. Now batting. Shortstop. Didi Gregorius. Here's Didi now. And the pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Whoa! 
Next one is off the play, and that's ball two. Just misses with that one. This to center field, and that is Springer. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Matt Veerling stands in for the Phillies. And that's downstairs and outside. Right-hander kicks deals. In for a strike. And that is strike two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Three up, three down for Philadelphia as they hold on to a 5-4 lead. Bottom four. Here's Matt Chapman. Righty delivers. Next offering misses down and away. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Kelly just threw that fastball by him. Elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. The wind of the pitch. And down on strikes. One out. Boog, he was shopping at the buckle right there, the way that slider made him look. That was just nasty. And next is the designated hitter, Alejandro Kirk. His first at bat was a strikeout. Base hit, center field. So a man aboard now with one away. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Kevin Biggio next up for the Blue Jays. He popped out his first time. One and two now. Inside and it hit him. He had two strikes on him and he hit him. Now that can happen when you're trying to dive out over the plate so you can control the outer half. Very difficult to get out of the way of good velocity in. The 1-1. One, one. Check swing, appeal to first. And he won around just enough that time. The pitch. Got him. And now two gone. Here's George Springer. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. And the right hater deals. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. And a good eye there. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. So the tying run at second. Swing and a miss. And that is that. 
Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. Now the third baseman, Bryson Stock. And a pitch. That's a ball. Next pitch is inside, and it's three and two. And the righty deals. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Stays alive. Slow roller to first. He steps on the bag. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Now that designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. Back to the top of the lineup, and now the DH, Kyle Schwarber. Nope. The next That's offering ball. misses. Two and one. Two balls, one strike, they count. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Chapman in position. And there's two down. Up next for Philadelphia, the left fielder, Nick Castellanos. So digging in, Nick Castellanos. That one the other way. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. They lead it 5 4. Back now in Toronto. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the shortstop, Bobichet. Next pitch misses inside. It's two and two. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And a foul ball. The two two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Oh, he's been racking up the strikeouts and what's so impressive not walking anyone. I mean this guy's just going right after hitters filling up the strike zone and it looks like hitters they're trying to think with him but they just are a pitch behind dominating stuff out there on the mound. Now here is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The three one in for a strike full count. Kicks and fires. And yeah, there's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. And now Teoscar Hernandez. He's all for one. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball in the ground in the infield should be an inning ending double play that misses the zone and that's ball three
The pitch. That one ripped, but foul. Guerrero leads off first with one away. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Three, two. This to third, base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings. Next pitch inside, and it's two and one. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. Two on, one out. Fought off foul. Righty to the plate. And that one fouled off. And he deals. 3-2 now. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Three two now. Guriel gets a piece. Runners at first and second with one gone. Softly hit the third. Off balance feed, there's one. On to Hoskins. Double play. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first, and that's the way to end the inning. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Julian Merriweather. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. And now here is Harper. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And that one missing low. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Ryan Barucki getting loose out there. Richards, a right hander, loosening up as well. And a pitch. This one lifted in the air, left field, and that one gets down, fair ball, and that's going to get into the corner. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Now back, Real Muto up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Runner leads away at second. Just off the outside part of the plate. Three one and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. The first base is number 17. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. All well, the way these two teams have battled in this game, you know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. 
The 2 1. Runners on the move. Back to the mound. On to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Now batting the second baseman, Gene Segura. Now it's going to be Gene Segura. Good contact guy, good defender. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low-end fastball for some guys. The pitch stays alive. Kicks and deals. That one missed. Two balls, two strikes. The next pitch misses. Three and two now. In this situation, he's trying to get you to pop something up or jam you. That's a really good take, knowing you've got an opportunity to drive in a run here. Right-handed reliever. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. The kick, the three-two. Got him looking. Huge strike out there. Second and third, two down. Bit of strategy here. They issue the intentional walk, and that'll set up a force play at any base. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, you can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Next offering is downstairs. Brooke, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way and out of here. With one swing, he quiets the crowd, and they add to their lead. It's 9-4. Well, a great job here of staying within himself. You know that if you get a knock, you're going to drive in a couple. So stay focused on that. Well, he does more than just a knock. Hits the grand slam to drive in four. Really good job at the plate. New pitcher now for the Jays, Ross Stripling. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. So two away with nobody on. Bryson Stott now at the plate. Fly ball down the line. Hernandez settles under this one. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. But the damage was done right here as you get another look at the Grand Slam home run. It's opened up now, 9-4. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Nick Nelson. And a healthy sized lead for him to go to work with. Welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the third baseman, Matt Chapman. The wine of the pitch. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. 
Next offering misses, and the count's even at two. And a pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So up next for Toronto, Alejandro Kirk, one for two. The pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Chapman aboard here at first with nobody out. And that one almost got him. Fouled off down the right side. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one away. Man at first. Now, Kevin Biggio. Biggio. The 1-1. One, one. This one high in the air to left center. Castellanos ranging into the alley. Hauls it in for the out. Throw and it gets away. The catcher, number nine, Danny Jensen. Danny Jensen to hit here. Swings and misses. That's the inning. Blue Jays held in check. They trail it here 9 4. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the Phillies DH, Kyle Schwarber. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one pulled foul. The one-two. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. Now one away. The wide to kick the pitch. Castellanos in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Bounce to third. Nice grab. Throw to first, and that's a great play for the out. Bryce Harper to the plate. And here it comes. And a ground ball to first. Can't glove it cleanly. Save. Fantastic effort, but that extends the inning. Two outs, runner at first. And now, JT Real Muto. The pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. So first and second with two outs. Reese Hoskins stands in for the Phillies. Here comes a pitch. And fouled off.
Harper over at second. Real Muto on at first with two down. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. So now one and two to Reese. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two on, two outs. Two, two, two. This one in the air right field. Hernandez drifts towards it. Makes the play and it's out number three. Phillies leave a couple. They're on top, however, 9-4. Back here at Rogers Center, bottom of the seventh. Here's the center fielder, George Springer. Right-hander kicks, deals. And down on strikes he goes, one away. That right there will drive you crazy as a hitter. That pitch has no business being called a strike. It's definitely not what the pitcher was trying to do with the curveball in any count, let alone a two-strike count. So the umpire right there, he's just rewarding a bad pitch. Bulbashet next up for the Blue Jays. And a count one and two. And the right hander deals. Chases in the dirt, slider there. Up with it, fires the first. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. The first baseman. And next for Toronto, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Two outs. Fouled off left side. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. That one ripped. Banks off the wall. Segura relay to second, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. We're at the top of the eighth. Now the batter now, Gene Segura. In the air, right field. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. So, man aboard. Didi Gregorius steps to the plate. Runner, runner, runner. Segura on the run. It's in the dirt. Jansen, great throw. He's out. Not a fast runner on the base path, so this kind of looks like it was a hit and run called from the dugout. Got to make contact some way or somehow because that guy's not going to be able to steal second base and be safe. Left-hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. And George makes the grab. Now batting the center fielder, Matt Veerling. And now the center fielder, Matt Veerling. He's already homered here in this one. I wouldn't say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. I mean, these guys really need to put up a zero on the board just to maintain a little hope. Toronto's bullpen with some action. Ryan Barucki up and throwing. Richards getting loose as well. The one-two. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one-two-three.
back here at the ballpark digging in Teoscar Hernandez. Next pitch misses inside two and one talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Swings and misses two balls two strikes. Next offering is fouled back. And a pitch. That misses the zone, and the count is filled up. On the ground to third, and it gets by him. The throw in to second, and he's safe. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. Here's Guriel. Ball to strike. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. One ball, two strikes, the count. One, two now. High in the air, out to right. Harper makes the play. Runner tagging for third. The relay in there safely. Now batting, the third baseman, Matt. Stepping in, Matt Chapman. One for three. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Just missed. The pitch. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. One away with a runner at third. And now a full count. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. Righty to the plate. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. In comes the run from third to trim the lead. It's 9-5. to five. Picks himself up in RBI. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. One down, and now it's going to be Alejandro Kirk. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. On the ground, could be two. Stop. Toss to second, and it's a double play to end the inning. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Phillies nine and the Blue Jays five. And welcome back. We go to the ninth. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Bryson Stock. Swing and a ball popped up. That gets down for a hit. And that turns the lineup over. No, they didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. You'll take those blue hits off the end of the bat all day long. It doesn't mean you put a great swing on it, but hitters deserve to get a lucky hit every now and then. So the Philly batting order turns over. Kyle Schwarber, the next to hit. Righty delivers. 
And that's down and away. Out towards right center field. Biggio settles underneath it. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Now the number two hitter, Nick Castellanos. Payoff pitch. Stays alive. Stop. Leads off first with one away. Chapman to second on the first double play. And that's the inning. 8 9 1 due up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Phillies nine and the Blue Jays five. Back now in Toronto. Now it's the second baseman, Kevin Biggio. Kicks and fires. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the righty deals. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Castellanos has this one sized up. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Then there's one down. The catcher, number nine, Danny. Now it's chance in the head. One one now. Foul ball. And now it's one and two. Ball. Upstairs. And a pop up right side foul territory. Real Muto pulls it down and there's two away. The center fielder number four. Joel Springer. Back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. George Springer digs in now. The two on. And it's ball four. He missed down low. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. So two down. And now here is Bo Bichette. The one one. That one missing inside. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Big time jam right there. I hate it as a hitter, but standing in center field, you can't help but chuckle a little bit. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, these guys came to the yard today thinking one thing, launch mode. Six home runs, just an incredible offensive display today. Even by today's standards, that is a huge total. Our final score here, 9-5. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.